Lots to look at here, but look at these suckers. The pigs already found the hole. They were just all inside of it. It's filling up. What is going on, Ferros? I feel like I opened almost every video just walking out of that door right there. My name is Paul Caffaro, and today we are getting um, baby turtles for our little turtle pond up front. L let me show you the pond. This right here is what we pretty much recreated. It was a bowl before, and it was too dark to see into. So what I did was get an old coffee table fish tank I used to have. I put a filter, a heater, an aerator, all that good stuff in here. Put some rocks along the edges, and uh, we have a couple turtles in here. There's a little African side neck right there, and next to that, if you could see under there, there's another snapping turtle. I got an arrow pointing to it. And right in front of us here is one of our biggest snapping turtle, chilling right there. So we got two of those in there that are growing up. In the corner right here, we have a Malaysian box turtle. So the Malaysian box turtles at my parents' house actually had this baby right here. It's a little bit bigger now. There's also a micro one right down there too. You can see how small that one is. These are two of the same species. Both Malaysian box turtles. But they're doing great here, they're growing. We have one new turtle that I have not shown yet on this channel. My buddy Franklin, raw fishing, gave it to me. I gotta find it. Let's see. Found it, I just gotta get a handle on it. There it is. It's another baby snapping turtle. Look how cute it is. It's just a miniature version of the ones I just showed you. So another snapping turtle is added to the little collection here. So, so far, this rock back, I don't know how you got under there, bud. So, so far we have three common snapping turtles, two Malaysian box turtles, and an African side neck in this pond. That totals out to be six different turtles in this pond right here. And what I just went and got are these. Super cool turtles, and I don't want to tell you what they are. There's a quick look at them right there. That's it. That's all you get. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna send you over to the fish store where I did have to be a little quiet because I wasn't allowed to film in there, but enjoy the footage. Fred and George, two-headed ready or slider. I haven't been here in a while, and they got massive. Look at that. It's a two-headed turtle. Is that sick or what? I wish I could buy that. Unfortunately, Fred and George are not not for sale. Lots to look at here, but look at these suckers. They're actually pretty darn big. You can see them hiding back there under the under the little turtle pad. That's a little big. We gotta go to the smaller ones, which are right here. This this is more like it. Wow, the pattern on the bottom of that shell is beautiful. Those are kind of cool, keep those in mind. But uh, these. You could do it. You could do it, buddy. You could do it. That's the one I want right there. Oh, gain. Dang, holy moly, you're yoked. And the color of your shell is beautiful. I want that one right there. I'm pointing with my Injured tilapia cutting finger. Those two work perfectly, yeah. I'm just chilling on the top. Perfect. All right, there we go. $106 later. They actually have really dark tops, which is super cool. And if you look under, and look how beautiful that shell is. How pretty is that? That's one of them. They both have different patterns. So there's one, right? Put that down and grab this other one. How sick is that? Super cool, and I love how long their tail is. You don't normally see that on a turtle. So I'm super stoked to get these guys in with the other ones. Put them right over here. Oh, yep, it's uh, it was my birthday yesterday. I totally forgot to mention that. Anyway, I had to be super quiet in that store because I don't believe you're allowed to film. So I was kind of like keeping it low key, you know, and I'm also filming on my phone. I normally don't film on my phone. So I got as much footage as I could uh, getting those turtles, but uh, let's head back to my house now. We're back with the turtles where we first started. And let me pop them open to show you. All right, I have the two turtles here. I set the camera up. I want to give you a cool look on both of them. They're beautiful, beautiful turtles. Look at the bottom side of that turtle. Super, super pretty. And uh, I cannot wait to add them to this pond right here. So without further ado, let's introduce them to the pond. Here we go. Goodbye, buddy. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Wow. Couldn't have got any better of an angle with that GoPro, I'll tell you that. Went right up to the camera. All right, and uh, one last one here. Wow, they're very photogenic, these two. Huh. Hey, <laughs> I tell you what I do need to do. I do need, well, I do need to install that filter right there. But I also need y'all to drop a comment down below, in the comments down below, Name these two turtles for me. Um, I always go back and look at the comments. There's usually thousands, so start dropping them now. What everyone has the most likes is going to be the name. Let's see, there's one of them right there, crawling around. Let's see through this, the glass, you can see them pretty well. They love this sand. All the turtles love the sand. One of the snapping turtles is completely invisible. I saw his nose sticking out of the sand right there yesterday. And the other one is over here on top of the filter. 
chilling. So as you can see, super well done aquarium right here for these turtles. Eight different turtles in the aquarium and I couldn't be happier with the ones I have chosen. The ones that are in there are super unique. They're super dope and I'm definitely not done buying turtles for that right there. We're gonna keep on upgrading, keep on moving up in the turtle gang, you know? I am so stoked to share with you what I got going on in this backyard. If you didn't watch last video, I updated you on pretty much everything that's gonna happen in this backyard within the next two months. Look at all these darn birds. Where are you guys coming from? These things are crazy. There's so many of them, look at them all. And why I came out here, you may ask. I just went over to the store over here where you could rent machines. I rented a bobcat. Look what's here. We got the machine, baby. Excavator. That junker was expensive to rent, I'll tell you that. But we're gonna be messing around with that thing over here tomorrow. You know, we can do whatever we want, really. It's just a bunch of land, and we have a big machine, and we don't know what we're gonna do with it. So yeah, that's arriving tomorrow morning, and I'm actually just gonna pick up the camera tomorrow morning when that machine arrives, because we actually are doing some planting in the enclosures over here. A lot of these trees out here, there's fruit trees, like that sea grape one over there. I want to put that in the goat enclosure because the goats, I just showed last video, they were eating the sea grapes right over there. I'll show you, goats love sea grapes. I don't know why they love it so much, but it's over here by these goats and these are the goats I might be actually getting. Where you at, buddies? So this is, uh, well, it was a sea grape plant. What up, boy? You eating some hay, huh? What are you doing? All right, anyway, you see how this sea grape plant is planted on the side of the enclosure? Well, when they grow, they get super big. And these goats right here, like I mentioned, could very possibly be the ones I'm getting. If not, every goat's I'm sure gonna like this plant. But watch this. See? Loves it. Absolutely loves it. And you can see, any ones he could reach, he's, he's gotten to them. Those are the goats that are next door. They love sea grapes. So, I decided, I decided to take my sea grape plant and uh, tree plant and plant it by the goat enclosure that we're gonna be creating here within the next month. And I say that because it's the holiday season and I'm sure these fence guys aren't gonna come out. But they were out here yesterday doing all the measurements. I'm not only doing the goat enclosure, by the way, I have two other enclosures being made. I'm just not exposing them on the channel just yet. I want those to be a surprise once they come and start installing the fences. But yeah, sea grape, this is uh, one of their favorites. So we're gonna pull that out without killing it pop the whole root system out, drag that, and bring it over to the goat enclosure, or at least where the goat enclosure is going to be, and put that in there. I have all these trees too that I've already previously knocked down. I just pretty much took them out of the ground and then laid them down. Those ones we're removing from this side of the yard, we're probably gonna plant some of them over there tomorrow. We're actually gonna remove them from this side of the yard to free up some space for over here, because as you know, we have another acre and a half on this side of the yard. Look how big the red tail is getting. Oh my goodness, huge. And that one's getting big too. There's the platinum. Oscar's big arowana. Where's the arowana? There it is. It's got some mud on its back, but big arowana. I feel like I said I'm gonna put that other filter on there every single day. I just get so busy. The second this video's up, I'm on to the next one. The next day. What's up in here? Yes, I'm barefoot. When am I not? We got the excavator. It's here. That's a hornet. That's a wasp. Oh my god, get away. <laughs> Let's get it, boys and girls. the pig pen. Good to start digging now. Just gotta keep a head count on all the pigs at all times because you gotta be careful that you're not gonna run one over. Alright, camera set up, let's get to digging. Alright, so as we're speaking, a truck just pulled up to pick up all the trees that we just put outside, so we did that the perfect time. See these machines right here? They're not actually all that pricey, and I'm very tempted to buy one of these things for the house. Because we could do stuff like this all the time. Look how much dirt we just got up that quick, but it's a good hole. If I get this low, you can kind of see it. After we get it all like dug out and get all the dirt out, then I'm going to flatten the edges and make it nice. Part of their nature. They would swim if they had the opportunity to. The plan is today to get it about their like a foot deep because I want all these little suckers to be able to actually like walk in the water instead of just like dip their belly in you know what I mean not in this much water actually but you know what I mean they they'll be able to reach bottom let's just uh let's let's, let's keep going I guess <laughs> The pigs are already found the hole. They were just all inside of it. I'm digging another one over there because like I said, we're getting more than just the goat enclosure. There's another enclosure that goes right here and it needs a pond for it as well. So I'm digging that one too, but uh, this one's done. I just need to like make it neat and fill it up with water. Look at the pigs, they all love it already. And then I gotta flatten this out through the yard. Coming along great. 
All right, it's flowing. It's gonna look just like that. They don't care. Lady May is out for a little Roman sesh, you know? Just going through some fresh dirt, just like every other pig. Boom, just like that. The pond is done. They now have somewhere that they can get their whole entire body soaked. On a day like this, gloomy, they're not going in that just yet. So we're gonna have to wait till a sunny day to see them go into that. But it looks good. Flattened it all. Over there is another pond that's dug for the next enclosure that you'll figure out later. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit it for me. After you hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you're notified every time I upload and you'll be notified when I post the videos of the next enclosures. Daniel's over there digging something else. I don't know. <laughs> He's honking the horn. Look at this. There's legit money in my lawn. What is this, a $100 bill? Is this a $100 bill? It's five bucks. Where did $7 come from? Hey, I mean, if anyone wants this $7 out of the yard, hit that like button. I'm totally kidding. Um, I wish I can give it to you, but you should still hit that like button. There's more money. Oh my God. Look, that's eight dollars. Oh, I'm on the hunt now. Money does grow from trees. We're taking down trees and it's dropping money. That's actually so weird. Hey, Daniel, I found eight bucks in the yard. I swear, like in the mud. Gotta be someone's money. All right, what are you doing over here? The heck is going on over here? Secret stuff. Secret stuff? Thank y'all so much for watching. Positive comment shout out goes out to Nathan. There it is, right yonder. If you want to win a positive comment, shout out and have your comment on the screen in one of these upcoming videos, all you gotta do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop that positive comment down in the comments down below. Yo, come on. $20 bill right here. There's two $20 bills, it's $40 right here. Okay, this has gotta be James's. There's no way all this money is just in my yard. I just found $48 in my yard. Look at all the ones are like in the dirt. There's like... <laughs> Bro, that is all my... Is this yours? Dude, where was it? It was all in the dirt. Out here. Yeah. It fell out when we were in the when I was But it was like all in different <laughs> spots, dude. What? Like spread out throughout the yard. The, Mace! Oh my god, dude. Look Are at your you... $5 bill. It's not looking too hot. I, I stuffed the ones in my, um, after I went and got bagels. Are you, are you <laughs> kidding me? Where was it? Found your dirt? money. <laughs> it was yeah, out there. Alright, it's James's money. I'll see you guys in that next one. Peace.